We shall begin by prepping the 3D printed X idler and first we'll remove the support material from the idler hole. I'll do this by just pushing a allen key through that hole and just clearing away that support material. Once we have access to that hole, we'll prep the idler first by taking a M4 by 20 millimeter bolt, putting onto it a M4 penny washer, followed by an M4 washer, followed by a 624ZZ bearing, followed by an M4 washer and an M4 penny washer. We'll then push this assembly through the 3D printed idler like so and then we'll seal it off with an M4 nut. Holding the nut with a pair of pliers and tightening it down with an allen key like so. Next, prepare the X motor carriage by sliding a M3 nut into the slot there. Uh, if you have trouble sliding it in, um, you can always use a lighter again to heat up the nut and then pushing it in. Next, remove the end stop from the packaging. We can put the cables to one side for now. Uh, we'll be taking the end stop and fixing it onto the X motor carriage like so with two M3 by 10 millimeter bolts. Next you want to take the 3D printed X motor carriage assembly from the previous stack. Take a M3 by 22mm bolt, slide a M3 shape proof washer onto it and you want to do that for three more bolts so that you have four in total. Take two, take the two um, 3D printed X motor carriage clamps and lay them on top of the carriage like so and slide two of the bolts onto each of the carriage onto each, onto each of the clamps like so next Flip it over, take four M3 rubber dampers and slide them onto the bolts. Next take a NEMA 17 motor and with the clip facing the end stop attach it onto the bolts like so. and tighten down with an allen key. Next, slide in two 380mm shafts, like so. Make sure the shafts reach the very end of the carriage. Once in place, take four M3 by 20 millimeter bolts and fix them into place like so. Uh, 
and fix on four M3 nylock nuts to the bottom of those four bolts. And you want to tighten these all the way down with a pair of pliers and an Allen key. Next, take four bronze bushings and slide them onto the shaft. You want to slide two onto each of the shafts, like so. Then take the X idler from the previous step and insert the shafts into the slots like so. Take the two 3D printed idler clamps and align like so. Next take an M3 by 20 millimeter bolt slide on like so flip it over and fix four M3 nylock nuts onto those bolts like so And again, fasten these in place with a pair of pliers and uh, an Allen key. Next, take the x-axis assembly and as you can see you can't just drop it in onto the bushings on the y-axis rods. You have to come in at an angle and then swivel it around and then drop the 3D printed parts onto the bushings on the y-axis shafts. Like so. Next, attach a cable tie to the 3D printed parts, like so, wrapping around the bronze bushings on the y-axis. And we want to do this for all four of the bushings. And we can then just snip off the ends like so with a pair of side cutters or scissors and we'll do the same over on this side as well.